is Michael Rappaport. You are now listening to a brand new banging I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. He's back. The young shooter, a.k.a. Dean Collins, is with me on the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Today we argue about Little Nas X. We talk about Dean Collins winning some real money on online gambling. Plus, we have some fabulous, really sick fucks of the week. All that and more on a brand new banging podcast. I am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Miles Jordan, give me something real nice, something real proper, but most importantly, oh yes, you know what it is. Yes, yeah, I need it. I need it. I need something real funky. All right, we're here. Brand new I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. My name is Michael Rappaport, a.k.a. the Gringo Mandingo, a.k.a. the White Chocolatito, a.k.a. the Jake LaMotta of podcasting, a.k.a. Mr. New York, ah, Mr. a.k.a. Mr. a.k.a. Here I am in the gloom tomb. You are listening to the high-definition sounds on Luminary Media. I have special guests. It's his first time. Since the podcast just moved to Luminary, uh, yeah. he's a fixture on the I Am Rapport Stereo podcast. Uh, some people know him as Dean Collins, but the world, the world knows him as the Young Shooter. Welcome, Shooter. Thank, thank you, Michael. Thank you for having me. Um, this is really cool, man. Um, I guess this is cool. I guess this is the first real. Um, time that I'm co-hosting an episode, which is which is awesome. So I'm happy I, to co-host. I, I don't. I didn't use that word. I just said you're here. Oh, well, I, I'm a guy who flies the plane alone. If the fucking plane goes down, mm-hmm. uh, I won't be found. Okay. If the plane makes it to its destination, I'll be the guy who all the passengers they go yay. I think if any plane goes down, no one's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying no if this really... plane, this I am Rapport Stereo Podcast G5. Uh-huh. This fighter pilot. This is a fighter pilot you're in. I beg to differ. We're, you got me in this fucking dungeon over here where we're doing this. I have to say, this is kind of similar to like solitary confinement. Now, be honest. The gloom tomb. It, be honest. It, it looks good, but we were going to do it outside and you got me excited about that. Well, and... we were going to shoot outside because it's a beautiful day in, in Los Angeles, California. But the gloom tomb uh, is, is a studio. And I've been to a lot of other people's sure. podcast studios. Have you been to trailers? Tra- have you been to any trailer parks or anyone's like sedan no, that they're doing? No, but I've been to other people's podcast studios, and 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 I will say that just as far as comfort, uh, I have to say that all the other podcast studios I've been to, the Gloom Tomb has the best artwork on the walls. That's for sure. Although I was just at Jeff Ross's house, his house is pretty stupid. Really, Duke? Like with good artwork? Well, he got dope artwork, and the house itself is pretty pretty fucking dumb. But it's not about the house. It's about the podcast studio. When uh, you say the, dumb, are you saying it like... Dumb like a shit's dope. Got it. Like, That's always really tricky for me to nah, be like... Nah, I wouldn't say dumb. I would say the shit Like you're insulting his or intelligence? Was, nah, or, uh, Jeff Ross, the, the Roastmaster General, he got an ill crib. Can I just ask um, what I think that the podcast listeners want to want to know is who's got the worst crib? Who's got the worst setup? In terms of like podcasters go that you've been on, okay, and and really like dish it out, nah, like, nah, 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 because if I've been on your podcast, you don't have to. You could just be like, I love the guy, I love the podcast, but like mm, I have to say, I have to let me think about. You know what? I have to say, I, nothing sticks out as being bad. Come back, you to me. you put me on my heels because you said something about you being the coast, and I, I had to straighten out that you are on this episode from beginning. Uh, I don't know if you, you you could get kicked out. You didn't say that. Off, you say, but, oh, you're going to be in the beginning to end. But but unless you get kicked, you'd be the beginning, uh, beginning uh, to the end until you get kicked out. Because you could okay. get kicked out and then it would be the beginning of end of your segment because the show will go on. I, I've noticed it never starts on a good vibe between you and I, which is really strange. I didn't get the guest parking spot. I'm like in the fucking no. woods down the street. Yeah. It's weird. You paid, you paid like, for no a meter, right? no one's here. You paid for a meter. Yeah, I paid for a meter, okay, and I'm thinking, well, like, why don't you just open your driveway? Nah, for me? Well, you ain't coming in the driveway, Duke. Because if I do have to kick you out, uh, I don't want to be like open the gate. I gotta okay. shut the. I, I guess like, I'm happy to be here. Get the fuck out. Get off the fucking property. See you fucking later. Type okay, of thing. cool. I'm glad I drove uh, 45 minutes in traffic to get over here. It, so. it wasn't that. It wasn't that many. It wasn't that many minutes. Um, like I told you guys on Tuesday, and like I told you on Wednesday during the prime time. I am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. 
We are now part of Luminary Media. That's right. The best podcast app in the world is now live and available for free on Apple and Android devices. You can listen on your computer and tablet devices too. And we have tailored our podcast sound quality for Luminary. So the listening is a whole new experience. Oh yeah, you heard it there. I just want to make a few things clear once again. Number one, the I Am Rappaport app will no longer have new episodes featured on it. So you can now delete it. Number two, every single episode of the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, every single one we ever did is now available for you to listen to as it was meant to be heard on Luminary. Number three, on May 20th, Luminary will be the only place, the only place in the world that you can find the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. We are going to be on Luminary Premium along with 40 plus other fantastic and exclusive shows along with many, many of your other favorite podcasts that you can listen to from dozens of networks for free. You got that? Sign up for Luminary today at luminary.link slash Rappaport and get the first three months of Luminary Premium for free. That's luminary.link slash Rappaport. If you were in a country where Luminary is not available yet, and I've heard from people in France, Germany, Japan, Saudi Arabia, I see it all. We see it all. Make sure you go to luminarypodcast.com and say that you need the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast in your country. We can be heard now in the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia, but that's not enough for the worldwide phenomenon. We are excited, okay? We are excited to be on Luminary. Sign up. Go to luminary.link slash Rappaport now. That's luminary.link slash Rappaport now. This is the best podcast app ever created for the best podcast ever created yeah. um anyway uh i'm excited about it the people have been very supportive change is good change is scary but change is important change is fucking growth and i love that word luminary it reminds me of like illumination like, like oh, yeah. lights maybe neon it just, <clears throat> it's, it's bright you know it feels different actually talking to this microphone I don't know if you did something with the microphone or it's no, I didn't, luminary. I didn't do anything with the, the fucking microphone. Okay, maybe it's luminary. It's just something bright and exciting. Well, you have a good voice for HD. Because um, like, you have like a, like a bassy voice. Like, cause you're yeah, you ba call, bass? it's called baritone. Is your b b baritone? Baritone, yeah. But I could hit the highs when I want. Because like you, know, you know I also sing. Yes. In, in what's the name of the band? Pacific? It's just Pacific. Is Pacific the band defunct? Uh, it is defunct. At, at this point, it is. And... I'm sad to say that because I do miss touring. I miss I miss touring around LA. I miss touring around San Diego. But when you're just touring around LA, is that touring? It's kind um, of no like disrespect. how you tour. Yeah, no disrespect to your comedy tour, but like but when not, you do, not, the comedy tour is actually leaving. No, because like, you the, say the, the, the vicinity. I'm, I'm not just saying. No, the comedy tour is actually leaving the vicinity. I didn't say touring LA. You just said I miss touring LA. I said and San Diego. So that's leaving the and Orange County. That's kind of like a two hour you so you miss touring the california i don't area. like the way that you're you could have just gone you could have just said yeah that's cool remember no, because I, I fucked with you hard i fucked with you mm. hard and i fucked with a uh, uh, pacific not yeah. the band but wh why specific and if you want you could have the fucking listeners listen that could be the outro you never give me you any know, shine fact, miles because it's been a minute play a little bit of pacific the band we'll talk over it um that's dean collins right there singing a lead singer of Pacific, but why did I ever call it Pacific the band? It's just because it's like a, it's such a common fucking name that for Twitter and social media we did at Pacific the band, at Pacific the band. So that's it, but it's no longer a thing. All right, fine. The music's there, it's on Spotify. All right, okay. Yeah, I've always liked Pacific the band. Love seeing you perform. You had a great rapport with the crowd. Um, Thanks, man. Can you can you do that like a little bit more genuine? It's it literally sounded like you were reading from a book.
I, I really liked you, one I told of you the that show. I, 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 had a, I had a weird stomach thing today. Oh, you I told ate you. too much. I'm so sorry I told sorry you that I had that. some weird stomach stu- shit going on. So don't fucking start with me. I told you my, 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 my it didn't feel right. I had like some... Right. I didn't feel... Like Can myself. I just say before you before we turn this? And we were also on, late last night. We were out late last night we doing were comedy, way past my bedtime. And you 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 lost steam also. I absolutely we did, did. three I spots. Exhausted. I did three spots of comedy in one night. And I will say this: I am so grateful that people ask me. But unfortunately, I can't do three spots in three different locations of comedy ever again, unless it's for charity. Yeah. I'll only do it unless it's for a good cause. Because for myself, it's just not. Smart. Well, that was that was like a tour, a mini tour last night. Yeah, it was so now Hollywood, you know how Santa Monica, back to Hollywood in a three-hour span. Yeah, and it was we got lost at one yes. point, which got me very aggravated because yes. I felt like it was your fault. Because it when, wasn't. No, but I I feel like when I'm with you, like, and I shouldn't feel this way. Ah, uh, yeah. I shouldn't yeah. feel this way, but I feel like when I'm with you, yeah, Dean's gonna take care of everything. And you've never been the type who just like you're never like Superman who like just takes care of everything. But I'm like Dean's here. He'll find uh, the West Side Comedy uh, Theater, and we get out in Santa Monica, which I don't know very well. And we're like walking in back alleys, and I'm and all I want to do is go, Dean, what the fuck? What are you doing? I, I, and I would like to say I'm lugging a fucking. 15 pound oh, rig it's really hard i don't have a i don't have any i don't have any uh spare hands to look at the a gps 15 you, pound camera you know what i'm just gonna go back to what you were saying about how why you were all fucked up before this i just want to say i just want to say to the listeners when you say you're all fucked up and you've had such a tough day i just want to i say, didn't say tough no, day i said i just want to tell something you something that whatever that, that, that threw me you should off have heard you on the phone it was like it was like my grandmother, like, oh, I've had such a, a tough day today. You called me and you said, and then we, we sat down here and you said, I, I had too much barbecue. I ate too much. I don't feel sorry for you, dude. I, I didn't say, listen, fuck. Oh, no, you ate too, you yeah, had too much Yeah, but it didn't, it didn't land barbecue. right. Like, and it's like, it's too much. Don't, 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 it's, don't That's, start. That, deal, deal with that with the toilet later after I leave. I already did a blaster. I already did a master no blast. I did a couple that. of master blasters, my friend, and it still didn't help me. Is Trust that a rap? Me. You should do that as a rap name. That'd be tight. You had the white shadow, but now you could get into the master blaster era. Um, all right, listen. Um, I want to. I want to say this, and I wonder what you're going to think about this, uh, uh, shooter. Um, I said this two podcasts ago, and it's. I don't. I don't look at myself as some sort of uh, oracle or, or predictor. I, I don't claim to be that. Uh, sometimes I will pat myself on the back for a great piece of uh, shit talking. Um, but I did say this. Uh, uh, there's a very popular song uh, right now. I think it's called Old Country Road or something mm-hmm. like this by Little Nas X. And and I suggested um, that Little Nas X uh, change his name like to maybe Little Robert De Niro X or Little Kareem Abdul-Jabbar X um, or, I mean, there's definitely other people besides Little Nas X, especially if you're a rapper. Because it's it's one thing to like say, oh, I'm little Kareem Abdul Jabbar X, or I'm little uh, Tom Brady X, but you're a little little Nas X, and you're a rapper, and and there's no sort of specific homage to the rapper Nas. Um, so uh, then the whole thing happened with Dave East, dope rapper from New York. He shitted on little Nas X, and now little Nas X said he doesn't give a fuck about Dave East, and then Dave East said. Of course, he shouldn't give a shit about me. Uh, you know, I wouldn't give a fuck about him either. Basically saying, yeah, he's a young dude. He shouldn't give a fuck about me. Basically sort of putting uh, what I hope is a the uh, an end to this back and forth. Um, I'm not a, a participant in hip-hop music. I'm just a fan. But now Little Nas X has come out and said, um, I, maybe I will change my name. He's actually said this. Maybe I will change my name. And I wasn't trying to uh, be disrespectful to Nas. And I go, but but you did do that, though. Like you, you there, out of all the nicknames that you could have came out with, all the um, uh, monikers. Like I, just, I got five that I just did today: uh, the Gringo Mandingo, uh, White Mike, the White Chocolatito, uh, Mr. New York, aka Mr. AKA, aka the Jiglum. I, I got tons, tons of them. He couldn't start with something different and then maybe go AKA Little Nas X, but now he's saying that he might change his name, and I say, good. Change your fucking name because I think the only reason why people paid attention to you in the first place is because they were like little Nas X. What is this? And obviously his music isn't in the same thing. And I know it's a young kid, uh, uh, and I know you're looking at me like, "Oh, Mike, you're such a hater," or whatever. Do you have anything <laughs> to say about little Nas X, oh, little Nas X, and the song "Old Old Country Road"? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, first, I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, just <laughs> listening to all that, I'm just like, my my take on it, just to deal with you first, is. I think that you are so invested 
for it's like in my eyes i'm a young guy and in my eyes i'm like who the fuck cares about who what? cares that his name everything is... that you just okay what if, okay, what so, if this what okay, if this chill. i got i got no, you what if it know, was fucking kurt little cobain x okay, okay what if it was little kurt cobain x because okay, but can i that, say something? that's what the, no that that makes more sense so before you go on what if his name was little kurt cobain x <laughs> i think that that's would like be your fucking hilarious i think it would be hilarious and let me just tell you you I saw your tweet. As a Kurt no, Cobain. I'm not. You're so wrapped up in these fucking young dudes that are like. I mean, making, I don't care about their age. I care about the music. Okay, and I'll don't tell put you, it as let some me, age shit. Excuse me. Let me. You ask me my opinion. I'll okay. tell you about my opinion of the song after I tell you what my opinion of what you said was. So, my opinion was. Uh, and then also add in if his nickname was Little Kurt, Kurt Cobain, okay, so, or Little a uh, Little Paul McCartney X. Little Paul McCartney X. Okay, because I saw his tweet right. And I and this is something when I scroll on Twitter, I see you always blasting. It's like you're always blasting Trump or whatever it is. And I, it's always funny what you say, but mm. you're never getting a response ever. So I that's don't look for like, a response. I didn't know that. I never know what you're going for. I, you, you know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not doing it for no. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Clout? No, I didn't or say clout. Beast. I mean like an actual. Response. I don't we give want a fuck someone to respond. Little dick, fucking ex, little dicky, dicky, the uh, the rapper. <laughs> yeah. Dick stain Donald Trump. I don't care who responds. All right, when all they right. respond, I'm always like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's tight. I look... Okay, so I look for the response. But all I'm saying is I saw a tweet from this guy, Lil Nas X, whatever. I don't fucking... I don't even know this guy. I just know the fucking... The song. And I see the tweet from Lil Nas X, and he says, yo, no disrespect to Nas. I didn't even think about that when I was naming my thing, but no disrespect. How could blah, you blah. not think about and that when you, you're naming your thing? You came out and started going at it. So I just want to talk about the song now, and... My take is maybe me like five years ago, I'd be like, fuck this song and oh man, uh, you know, fuck this industry and blah, blah. But my take is, I think it's a, I think it's a, a fun song. It's a catchy Can you fucking sing song. It? Um, let's see it. Cause I've never even heard, I've never played it front to back, but no. it goes, no, I, I, it goes, um, horses in the back. What is it? Uh, I don't know. I, no, you do know it, dude. I really don't. I really don't. It goes, to be honest uh, with you, I horses don't. in the back. <laughs> I got stock horses in the stock. Fuck, I don't know it, but it's really good. But okay. all I want to say is, I think it's a fun song. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't. Uh, it's not derogatory. <laughs> it's not derogatory. It's derogatory. It's yeah, not derogatory. Spit it the fuck Shut out, up, man, bro. I Go listened ahead. to that fucking ten minute rant. Uh, number one on, I listened to the fucking ten minutes on the Lil Nas and Dave East and, and this back and forth. I'm, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, about. I've been when, waiting an hour you, to give you my take. When did you wake up? When did you wake up, bro? I woke up at 7 a.m., bro. Okay, when did you wake up? I woke up at 7 a.m., bro. Just because you fucking rolled out of bed. And you made I didn't little... roll out of bed, bro. Don't when let the, the sweatshirt did you fool wake you, bro. Up, bro. Yeah, because you look like you just rolled out of bed, because, homie. You look homie. like you just rolled out of bed, homie. Okay, let me tell you, homie. I think that the fucking song is is family friendly. It's not derogatory towards women. Oh, it's catchy, shit. and you got the kids singing it. Okay, and I okay. say I say let the fucking man live, and All let right. Billy Cyrus, let Billy Ray Cyrus, that fucking. I think it's so much better than that god awful achy breaky eighties garbage. Achy, I think this heart? is better. I think this is better than he than anything he's ever you done think with it's his the whole best career. Thing he's ever been on. I think it's the best thing he's ever done with his whole All career. Right. Okay, okay. That cool. and Hannah Montana are tied. Well, Hannah Montana made Miley That's, Cyrus. Miley Cyrus, look who's laughing yeah, now. Yeah, but look who made Miley Cyrus. No shit. The big homie Billy. No shit. Anyway, right. that's my take on, on the song. Let the guy live. We'll be Focus on Lil, Lil Zan, bro. Go back to that. I can't even. I, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't even, fuck. even. I, You know, I didn't know. I got to be honest. This, this just goes to show that, I, that how far-fetched things are. Yeah. The fact that, like, really recognizable facial tattoos is a real actual thing yeah is really crazy to you me. mean like post malone's got like, like everybody got like tattoos on their face i go that like mike tyson he deserves credit because he wasn't the first one to do it but no. he was the first famous person to do it and once he did it it was on and popping and motherfuckers no are just, but now it's like it's it's literally like getting a pair of sneakers but think about it's not the, even shocking anymore but when you look back at the 90s and like fucking you know the leonardo dicaprio titanic hair where it's like that was so cool back then but now it's like oh my god in 10 years these fucking tattooed duke, duke, faces no one no one why, why you know about his hair duke what do you mean why do i who doesn't know about titanic? did you ever try to get leonardo dicaprio hair no i actually had leonardo dicaprio hair like that and it wasn't cool on me. A lot of people said, oh, man, uh, I think I told you this on the podcast. That a lot of people said, you look like, recently, actually, um, you look like 
the lead guy in Dubai, someone said this to me, the taxi driver, you look like the lead actor in that movie, Titanic. And I said, uh, I'm thinking to myself, uh, who the fuck are you talking about? Kate Winslet? Yeah, Kate Winslet. Like, who, who are we talking about? It's Billy Zane? Like, what, what are we going for here? And, he and said, no, no one said you look like Leonardo DiCaprio. On my life. Dean, it's the only... On no my, one ever told I, you you look like Leonardo DiCaprio. I, There's I, not one person I tell you, that ever made can, that... You that, know what? what? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. That all my life, there's only one person in my in my almost 29 years of living that has that has told me they lo- I look like Leonardo DiCaprio in the Titanic movie. So yeah, because no one thinks you look like Leonardo DiCaprio. No, I know you don't have to say it like that. But I'm just I just know. making sure we're clear. Like maybe Duke was on something. Maybe I don't know. Was maybe he was on those mushrooms. No, I don't know. I think I just had like a really good hair day. I think maybe the, it was your hair. Yeah, maybe you were. Like, you looked very American. You looked very blonde because you're. I, was, very I had bl- been working so out. So the only thing that'd be be similar is like you have blonde hair and he has blonde hair. And in, I had, in Titanic. I had, I had joined Equinox, I think, like three months prior. So, I also just want to talk about the fact that you feel sick because you had so much meat and all this great barbecue, whatever podcast you were at, and I'm here with um, uh, a fucking string cheese. That's because you just, you literally look like, you, you said, I haven't eaten all day. I said, I haven't eaten all day. What it, food do you have? And you said, man, I got your string cheese. We got food over here, Duke. We don't got, like, yo, we got quinoa and all that If, if everyone shit. has seen your Instagram videos, you see that you're like, get the fucking, my, my cat Pablo off the couch. You, you come in, you put your feet up, you need water, you need food. I need all that. I got string cheese. I need all that, Duke. I got string cheese, I need Duke. all that, Duke. And, you know what? I'm going to need 75 cents for that meter, Duke. Shooter, um, you're not getting your 75 cents because also you should be giving me money because why don't you tell the people uh, about your online gambling success you just had? All right. Don't use numbers. It's not like the shooter went crazy and ran, won, you know, something very, very, very. Uh, 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 no. He doesn't. He doesn't play high stakes, but he did. You did win. Uh, you, yeah, you play but poker. I don't. I, I, well, it depends on what high stakes are, I guess. But anyway, I, I put in, um, this is this is no bullshit. And if you've listened, I probably told this last year on the podcast, but I had a crazy win that happened to me last year. What was that win? It was, I won last year, I won $10,000. Doing what? D- doing no bullshit. This was last year on Bovada. If you're a poker guy, if you're play blackjack i'm sure there's online. everyone there's on here. here if anyone plays poker yeah. online they know bovada okay so i want so i um i went into blackjack for the first time on bovada and i deposited uh a hundred dollars started playing blackjack and i this was the first time i had ever deposited money on a gambling site like i had never done this before ever so my brother and his friends, they had told me about this thing. So they know I'm a fucking nut job with gambling. I deposit- Like you do it late, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I go to, I go to the, I'm not like, oh, look at me. Like, you know me, I go to the casinos, I'm the shit. But, no, no, no. But like like, like you'll tell it. me, like you'll disappear for a day, yeah, no, maybe a day do, and a half. Like, I don't do like, I'm not like going to Vegas. I'm no, but you'll shit. like be like, I'll be like, where were you? Like uh, you'll call in, like you. I'm a night owl. Okay. Okay. That, that's all you gotta owl. say. I'm a night owl. So, um. You should have just said that from the top. Okay. So I'm a night owl, and uh, but this way I, I'm doing it at the, at the comfort of my own home. And so last year I won all this money by depositing a hundred dollars into blackjack, and I'm betting like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, and it's going, you know, doubling it up and blah blah blah. And in my mind I'm like, this this seems like like fake money. It doesn't seem like I'm playing with real my real hundred dollar deposit, right? Because you know it's like making the sounds and all the shit, and it and it's instant. It's like your win instantly or you and, lose instantly. or you lose fucking instantly like oh shit the hundred dollars is gone in a second so it's, it's essentially like you're putting it on like a paypal type of thing absolutely it, and it, you, it's bank wired and you play and you win and you play or it's gone or it's gone exactly okay, go ahead and it's it's not necessarily legal and um and so anyway last year i won that and and you know my buddy's in the other room and my roommate and he's talking to me and i won this in the span of 10 minutes, no bullshit, last year. $10,000 $10, in 10 minutes, I was betting 
I, I started to bet $500 maximum hands and I was getting blackjack, blackjack. I was splitting aces. I, I'd double down. I was like, for the people that know poker and shit, for the others who don't, I'm sorry. But all you need to know is this happened in 10 minutes and my roommate is going, so you want to get Chinese or whatever? And I'm going, and I'm ho- I'm like holding my breath for fi- for 10 minutes. Like I could barely breathe. I'm like, Ugh. and so I finally, I'm like, huh. I breathe and I stop and it hit and it, at the 10,000 mark. I call my brother and I'm like, yo, I, it says 10,000 in my account. Like, is this, he goes, hold on, hold on. I'll pass it to my friend who knows this shit. They're at a Dodger game. All these people around. The guy goes, well, how much did you win? I said, I, it says 10,000 in, in the account. And he goes, cash out, cash out, cash out right now. I cash out. It all is legit. Fast forward. I'm on a different site. But, so you got that $10,000. I got that $10,000. And it gets deposited like a wire got, transfer? A wire transfer. It takes like, 30 days or whatever the fuck it is. Why I does it wait. take so long? It's for large sums like that. It took, they had to split it, whatever they process it. I, I got a drone. I got a new camera. Like I, that was last year. You, right? you, you, you were big dick swinging. I was big dick swinging. Yes. But it's 2019. And so I tried out my, someone had told me, my brother had told me, um, you know, there's this other website. Uh, Because I couldn't go on Bavada anymore. Why? I probably shouldn't even be talking about this because Bavada could be fucking like auditing. I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, uh, I go on to this other site. And for those who want to know what it is, because why not? uh, It's called sportsbetting.ag. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, It's not necessarily legal. So I go in. Wow. This is this is legit. You're in the dark web. I'm in it. And this is like public. Like anyone could go and do this. I don't condone anybody. I'm not condoning anyone to gamble, anything like that. Just to say that. Right. You're so just sharing I'm your just sharing my experience. I don't fuck with this. I know you don't. You I never fuck with have. fantasy football bets. We've gone to Vegas and you're like, here's a What did I bucks. do when you were at Vegas? You gave me some money and you're like, like barely, you know, just a couple, you know. I like sat there and fucking was on my oh, phone yeah, and yeah. drank my soda. For sure. You're not you're not that dude. I'm that I'm that guy. You're that dude. I am that guy and and so anyway. <laughs> Yo, fast forward to it's this sportsbetting.ag whatever and I'm like browsing around and I'm going and so I'm playing poker at first and I'm playing like these tournaments and blah 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 and I'm doing okay but you know it takes fucking it takes forever. So finally I'm like fuck this shit. I need the instant I need the instant win. So I go to blackjack and that's where you get the instant win cuz as everyone knows You get the instant win or the instant loss. Or or the instant loss okay, which can ahead. feel sickening i mean just even thinking about it, i'm like ugh, you know you place a fucking crazy bet and it's like oh they get 21 so anyway i deposit i deposit 59 dollars because i had left over from poker or whatever i had 59 bucks i take it over to this blackjack thing this one's lasting a lot longer i probably played for about an hour a little over an hour and i was go and i was betting and this was the best blackjack i'd ever played best it was like accurate so Fast forward, I cashed out with eleven thousand one hundred dollars. You won eleven thousand one hundred dollars off of fifty nine dollars in an in an hour, and this just happened this past week. So okay, so the question is, what do I get for those things? So so so, so so that's that's the important question. You won eleven thousand one hundred dollars. You're on the I Am Rapport Stereo yes. podcast. What does what does what does Big Dog get? You what remember, does the pilot of the plane get? Okay, well, you remember we went to that the sushi restaurant last night? Yes. The valet? Yes. Did I not cover you on but the valet? I paid for the fucking sushi dinner. Yeah, but I got you on that. It was an and $8. And you didn't fucking tell me you won $11,000 till just now, asshole. I got you on that $8 valet. That's, that's an expensive yo, yo, ticket yo, for yo, valet, yo, by yo, the way. Yo, 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 yo. And if yo, you're calculating tip... Yo. Okay, whatever, man. It was eight dollars. Yeah, you, 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 you want to share it on here, big dick style, and then but you don't want to be like, yo, rap, da 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 da. Yo, let me take care of dinner. Uh, more importantly, I want to say this: you met him because you met him a couple times. Again, I want to send good vibrations, good uh, thoughts, prayers to uh, my friend, um, and and everybody's a fan of his work, and everybody has seen his work. John Singleton um, is still down. Um, he's still struggling. He's still fighting. Um, but he's not, he's not out of the hospital 
uh, director of Boys in the Hood, director of Poetic Justice, director of Baby Boy. Uh, I direct, I worked with him on Higher Learning, and and we just saw him. We you you just, met you you were with me when I, we ran into him at the Improv. The, the first time I ever met him was at the Tribe Called Quest, your documentary, and we did a little bit with him, and we've met him over the years, and and we just saw him at the Comedy Store. No, la it was the Improv. The Improv. We just saw him at the Improv a couple weeks ago. Had a great conversation. The guy is such a nice guy, and we're all we're all wishing him well and, and his family. Oh man, yeah, man, it's horrible. <sighs> he's, he's such a young dude and like such a, a, a just a, a good dude. So he that is true. W w what is going on with him? If you've heard anything about uh, Boys in the Hood director and just generally uh, talented guy and film lover and actor lover and nice person, yeah, uh, uh, John Singleton. So send whatever vibrations uh, that you want to send him. Whatever you're into praying uh, good thoughts or, or whatever to John Singleton because he's a good dude. And he's a young dude and he's got we a hope lot he more, pulls through. a lot more living. Um, so the show that we've talked about a lot, um, the act yeah, on Hulu. We've given this show so much shine. We've it's, given this show so, so much shine, but I love it. I'm surprised you haven't been cast on this or fucking let, we should do a different version. I know it's real events, but what if you, what if I play the mom, the, you're the, the dad, mom and I'm gypsy. Yes. We should do a version. Yo, with, no bullshit. And you're here. Like, we're like, just. Get in the wheelchair. That would be bugged. The if fuck I had out. the fucking cap and I got the glass and I went, hey, dad. Yeah. yeah. If I did some crazy shit, like. That would be. That would well, be. My dad doesn't let me go out, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. if I did some Joey King. Shout out Joey King, Patricia She's Arquette. She's really good. I'm at a it. fan I, of the show. I, I don't know who else is watching it. I know a few people because I've, I've, I've engaged I with a like few I've fans. I feel like I've turned on everyone to this I know, but I just show. don't know. But I, I want to say this that show's coming to the end. The, the, the last episode is, is coming. But you know what's crazy? I've talked about my trials and tribulations of being suspended off of Twitter. I've talked about being suspended off of uh, Instagram and Facebook. Um, it's very well documented in regards to this case with the Gypsy Rose Blanchard uh, uh, case. You know, she met people. Uh, she met the guy who eventually wound up uh, killing her mom. Her Facebook post, which which where where her last Facebook post. From uh, June of 2015, where she says the bitch is dead. Yeah, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's account is still on Facebook. No, it isn't. It's still open how on Facebook. Is, how I, is that possible? I have no clue no. how I could be suspended. Like I feel like if I went on if I went on Facebook and I said a fuck cocksucker shit rant about Dick Stain Donald Trump. They, they at this point they they would shut me down. You have posted like a monkey taking a shit. You've been banned for a month. Suspended. For a month, numerous times. I think three times, maybe four times. But is Gypsy, Gypsy operating? Is it no, currently... it's just, it just never got shut down. But why don't they shut that down? If, I mean, she, I think that, even that there... account, the bitch should be dead. The bitch is dead, shouldn't be on Facebook. I think even the police are like... And I'm team like... Gypsy Rose. I'm free Gypsy Rose. Like I think that Gypsy Rose should be let out and put in a mental institution. I think she's a victim of society. But the fact that she still has a Facebook account and... I'm one rant away from losing mine is crazy. That's nuts. And what is it when you're trapped in a, in a little person's body? It's not the Benjamin Button syndrome, but what is it? You know what I'm saying? Know. Jack, you know, Robin Williams had it. It's kind of gypsies. What about got, I'm just saying like gypsies, like my age now, I think she's approaching 29 and I, she's kind of still in that 12 year old space. Yeah. But when you see, I mean, yo, she, the thing about her is she was a, a, I free, a victim. I'm a hashtag free gypsy too, she, dude. She, she was, she was a brutally abused. Insane. So uh, I, she definitely needs to pay her price. Um, but I just want to shout out Juliet Lewis, by she, the way. She's in the she, it, she, she She's in the latest episode, second to last episode, and she is so good. She plays the kid, um, the murderer, Callum Worthy, who's the actor, Callum Worthy. Um, she plays his mom, and she's so, so good like a role i've never seen her in like this and she's in the finale too i'm excited speaking of so so good friend of the i am Rappaport stereo podcast although he hasn't been on uh, uh he might never be on again logan learman logan learman that's why because he can't pronounce his fucking name he's working with al pacino who just turned 79 years old today, today. al fucking pacino he's working with al pacino and he is a very, and my friend Logan is, is as you know, very humble, very modest. Um, He's so worked I, with him on, a, is it a Hulu show? Or it's an a Amazon, Amazon Pri Prime show that they're both starring in. But this ain't about him. This is about Al oh, Pacino. This isn't about Logan. Who's just turned 79, who, listen, I've, I've done the De Niro uh, line of the week. What can I say, man? Al Pacino 
when when you think about Al Pacino, you look at these early pictures of Al Pacino. You you now he's such a star. You forget they were the studio Paramount Studio was so against casting Al Pacino in The Godfather. If if you've seen Al Pacino and you know like he's five foot seven, <laughs> um, at the time he was he was handsome but like in a weird way. The, like the movie stars at the time were Paul Newman. Robert Redford, blonde-haired, blue-eyed people. Debonairs. Debonairs. And, and, and Francis Ford Coppola was like, I want this guy to star in this huge film for Paramount. And they were like, we're going to fire you and we're not casting this little freak. And the fact that Al Pacino, uh, uh, by pure talent, pure grit, and, and not to say that he's weird-looking, but just he's not a conventional movie star, especially in the 70s. Al Pacino, Dustin Hoffman, and Robert De Niro brought in the more ethnic looking movie star to the mainstream because before that it was all blonde haired blue eyes Cary Grant Humphrey Bogart type of guys and these guys are are, are those three right there are are, are small uh, little guys with big noses and Pacino had like a like a like he he like almost had like a lisp and uh the fact I mean Al Pacino needs no introduction everything from The Godfather to Scarface to Dog Day Afternoon to um that's quite the introduction I mean, what can I say? The guy, I you don't have to say anything else. He said you don't need. He needs no introduction. So then you just don't say anything after that. I, I, but he just, you know what I'm like, saying? I, I know every year I shout him out on his birthday, but I love him so much. And when you think like, yo, he's 79. Like these guys are getting up there in age. How old's De Niro? I think Bob is 79. You Someone's know, 80, 80, 78. Someone's like, 80 recently. Yo, there's Jack Nicholson this week turned yeah, 82. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. Jack Nicholson, 82. That's wild shit. These guys are older gentlemen. They're fucking up there. So, you know, you you got to appreciate them, especially these guys, because we take sometimes for granted that mm -hmm. they're going to be here forever. And then when they're gone, it breaks your heart. So shout out to the fucking great Al Pacino. And instead of uh, uh, interviewing Logan Lerman, friend of Lerman. the Iron Lerman, just to back we're just going to go straight to Al when that okay. show comes out. Fuck Logan. Fuck okay. Logan, because he's out there. Is there we, something that he did? It's that... just like, yo, he should be, he knows how much I love Al. I've never worked yeah. with Al. He should be hitting me up like, yo, I told Al about you. Hey, something. Maybe something. he did, and maybe I, you just haven't hit him up. Or All right, well, you know I, I, shout out to Al, who just turned 79. Good genes. I am Rappaport Podcast. It's that time. It's that iconic time, uh, the award-winning I Am Rapport Sick Fuck of the Week theme music, please. This is an award that is earned, not given. Earned, not given. It's called the Sick the Fuck of the Week. Oh, the sick She's fuck. really fucking sick, man. She's fucking whack. Why? Make him stop. You smell like a sick fuck. You look like a sick fuck. That ain't fuck. supposed to be on a plane, you sick what you, fuck what, you. What are you doing? Hey, man, leave that chicken alone. Leave the chicken alone. Well, what are you doing to the chicken? That doesn't belong in a chicken. Yes, yes, you are now listening to the theme song of the Sick Fuck of the Week segment. It's an award-winning segment. You know how it works. You know the rest. Right there in New York City. This guy just can't keep his fucking pants on. A man with a history. He has a history of taking his clothes off and taunting unwilling witnesses has been arrested again. Imagine if that was your reputation, that you take your clothes off and you taunt people while you're naked. What do you mean? What do you mean? So taunt? like you're, you're, you're at the fucking Starbucks and a guy's in there like jerking off. Or he's, he's not walking, like he, but he did this. Uh, around a chi a children's soccer practice. Okay, you should start with that. Start, okay, but, but, he, but he has a that. history of this. No, it's actually this one wasn't. This wasn't a children's soccer practice. It was. A, it was a woman's. It was a grown women. Uh, they had a, like a like a friendly soccer league. This cocksucker in broad daylight on Ward's Island, which is kind of like a place outside of the city where people like there's parks and shit like that, took all his clothes off while the women were out there playing soccer. Hmm. You say, hmm, no, what if your yeah, mom or your sister was out there playing soccer? Do your mom and sister play soccer? Mm, I can't say that they do. Okay, so how would you like I it come from a if Jewish family? Edward Foley uh, showed up at, at your mom and sister's soccer practice and was running around the field naked, taunting them with his loaf? 
That's I, low I wouldn't taunting. feel good about it. I would hope that someone would take that fucker out. Yeah, okay. You know? but so, but, I mean, but when it's about your sister and your mom, uh, no, you take I didn't, out. But listen, these, these, I, these all people. All I said was, hmm, you didn't ask me what I, you didn't say. Is this a sick fucker? You didn't say anything. You just, you know what I mean? No, nah, I don't know what the fuck you mean, Duke. Okay, I just want to say. I don't say, know what you mean, Duke. I just want to say I think that everyone's kind of desensitized to this. Like, okay, the guy went out and flashed people. Like, Louis C.K. is doing stand-up right now. Like, he flashed people. Like, move on to the next he story. He asked him, though. He oh, asked okay. them. They didn't say no. Okay, he was at the soccer game. I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying, like, uh, yeah, like, all right, we live in 2019. Like, that's 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 the news that you got today? So, so you don't think that should be a sick fuck? So you're at the point where so you're, you're so desensitized. So you don't desen think that should be a sick fuck. That's what you're saying. In fact, I'd like to make a new rule for the sick fuck game. Uh, you, could, you could deny it. You can accept it, whatever you want to do. But I just want to say uh, public flashers, just like public indecency. Yeah. That's I, I, don't think it's, I don't think I don't think it's Homie, too worthy of nah, it anymore. Well, I'm gonna let the people speak. Please I, I just, chime in I just on think this. You fans. can do juicier. Basically, I'm getting to juicier. Okay. But this is this is slow pitch, sick fucks. Okay. If you're out in public, yeah. Okay, at a coffee shop. If you're out in public, walking around, like let's say, like a little a little shopping area yeah. or at a park, and a guy is 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 walking around butt ass naked, and he's doing it to taunt you. That is everything. That that is the oh, okay. foundation of the sick fuck of the week on the I am Rapport Stereo Podcast. Excuse you. Okay. Excuse you. Okay. Uh, I hear you. All excuse things me. go. Yeah. Excuse if he's me. In front excuse me. All I said was hmm. No, nah, not hmm. All I went hmm. No, that's offensive, my friend. That's offensive. A man. They're they're out there working on soccer drills, and the guy's running around taunting them. No. Uh, okay. I didn't. All right. Maybe, maybe this will maybe this will all get your attention. I'm waiting. In China. Hmm. Okay. I'm not just, in I China. To, yeah. A woman stabbed her husband to death as she was waiting at home to cook dinner for them. The reason why she said she stabbed her husband to death is because the husband came home empty-handed when she asked him earlier in the day to bring home chicken legs. So he didn't bring home the chicken legs. She couldn't cook. So she stabbed her husband to death. Does does that qualify for a, a hey. Dean a Dean Collins sick fuck oh, okay. of the week? Take is, is that sick hey. enough for you? Hey, take it fucking easy for a second, all right? Let me just tell you. Yes, that's that's for sure a sick. Okay. Fuck. In a way, I couldn't help but laugh, um, because I like to think you know that's kind of just reminds me of Kill Bill, like a real like a real female empowerment type of situation where she just got fucking fed up. It's like, dude, bring home the chicken legs. How many fucking times are we gonna ask you? And then you show up. Oh, you didn't bring them? Oh, you didn't bring them? Now your life is... Now you don't have a life. Yeah. No, so, you don't have a life. Did she cook him to eat? Was she hungry? Did no, she, she didn't wind up cooking and eating him. See, you're, now you're now you're out on the right track. Uh, we're in a sick fuck territory. Anything yeah, goes. Yeah, no, she didn't... Now, she, she should have been like, yo, I told you I was hungry. Bitch. I was hungry. Now I'm eating you. You, you didn't bring home the chicken? Now I'm... Now, now you're eat, the chicken. Now, now, now I'm gonna eat you, Duke. Nah, now you're the chicken. In Long Island... And this guy looks like a sick fuck. And based on my expertise, he looks like he's sober since he's been arrested. A Long Island man. This is Long Island. Okay. This is where uh, Howard Stern's from. Natalie Portman's from. Uh, the great Dr. J. Eddie Murphy. A lot of people come from Long Island. Uh, he was busted for running a sex dungeon in the basement of his parents' house where he piled where he and they used the word piled more than 20 drug addicted women with narcotics and forced them to turn tricks as he would keep them down there for hours at a time where they were forced to not be able to take showers and they were uh, using buckets as toilets he's a sick fuck lock him up he is locked up uh, he has a 1 million dollar bail or a 2 million dollar bond he ain't never getting out how old is this guy he a grown man it's not a kid this this dude i would guess based on my expertise uh, uh, and I do have expertise in this area. I would say mid forties. Okay, and how young were the the females? Young just... women, young women. They were young women. They weren't older than him. They were like in their twenties and thirties. Okay, we don't fact check, so I guess. Um, no, we don't fact is... check. Are you mocking that too? No, Since I'm you're saying we the don't. Sick fucks? You really want to get on the bad side check. of the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast fans? Is that what you're looking to do? I think I was. A are you are you looking to challenge the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast fans? Because because you know they'll turn on you, Dean. You're you, fucking you, turning red, bro. You, you've you've made you're it turning bright red. You look like a fucking tomato. You're gonna you're gonna work yourself up again. You need to take a deep breath again, man. This okay. should be an enjoy. This is your podcast. I drove here to come talk on your podcast, man. This okay. doesn't need to be so. Okay. Okay. You see, everything is nice now. It sounds like the uh, air just got a little okay. bit quieter. Okay. Every... okay, okay, go ahead. 
No, I don't, you go ahead. It's your podcast. Okay, so. here we go. In Michigan, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be upsetting. And if you saw a picture of the dog, you know where this is going. I don't want to see it. Okay, uh, I'll start this by saying the, the prosecutor said crimes of nature will never be tolerated. A man who fatally stabbed his adopted Ugh. shelter dog gets triple, gets triple the recommendation of prison time. Good. This guy, Alex Girth, what a beautiful dog. He stabbed. He stabbed this, uh, uh, this dog, killed this dog. He was sentenced to three to six years in prison. Three to six? Three to six. Keep him in there. It should be 36 to 60. So you know that someone is going to fuck that dude. You think they're going to get the Wonder Bread bag and olive oil Oh, treatment? 100%. Raw dog without a bag? With that last name being Girth, they're going to have a nice girthy fucking... Uh, nice girthy fucking. Yeah, he's gonna right get. He's now. gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna learn about what doggy style is. Yes, he is. He he's he, gonna get taught that. He's gonna get. Oh, taught you like it. to stab orphan dogs? Yeah, we're gonna show you what doggy style is. Come yes. here, let me show you this. Uh, you know people in prison that, that can do that? Mm, not saying I do. Not saying I don't. Okay. Uh, uh, speaking of dogs, follow up to the woman we mentioned a couple of podcasts ago. Uh, it was out there near Coachella Valley, Indio, Indio. Coachella, yeah. Um, she, uh, uh, was, uh, caught on videotape dumping, I think it was seven beautiful baby puppies into a dumpster. Newborn. If you see the videotape, you see how casually she did it. Uh, she also, her car was caught. Her license was caught. Well, she's been caught too. And, and this is just the beginning of it. Apparently in her house, she had like 23 other dogs. Who, Are you serious? I didn't yeah, even know that. Yeah. She had 23 other dogs that were like in her house. They weren't being abused, but she looks like, based on my expertise, she looks like she's on that Walter White. Oh, she's on the classic sick fuck of the... If, if, if the sick fuck of the weeks had, like, employees of the month, Boom. she would be the, the sick fuck of the month yes. for wherever the sick fucks are working. And she, she tossed these puppies like she, she, like she, she was she throwing away all, all she thing opened, of uh, Burger King. But she opened it and kind of lightly was going to drop, and then she was like, nah, fuck it, I got to get out of here, and then... Threw the fucking bag. The like, puppies are all safe. They're all fine. Newborn puppies. This woman, the whole fucking nation yes. was looking for she, this woman. Yeah, she's going to get all the time in the world. I wonder if she'll get more or less time than the guy who stabbed the dogs that we just mentioned. All right. When we, I love that. When we got a whole nation trying to find them. Yes. I love that. When everybody's collectively searching for a sick fuck of the yes. week. It, yes. it, it brings everybody together. It brings me back to the old times of bloodhounds and, and fire and, and, and really looking with the, those old flashlights. Yes. Yeah, we were really looking for her and, and, and we caught her. Um, this happened at a Mets game. Uh, this happened at a Mets game out there in City Field. Queens is in the house. The incident happened in the ninth inning of a 9-0 to zero victory of the New York Mets versus the Philadelphia Phillies. When a 20-year-old named Richard Petreo asked the father if he could use his phone, a 20-year-old fan asked the father if he could use his phone, the 39-year-old dad who was watching the game with his, with his wife and his 12-year-old son and his 10-year-old daughter said no, at which point the fan said, I will fuck you up and fuck your entire family up. Then he dropped his pants and exposed himself in City Field. The fan should have beat his fucking ass wait you you know people get drunk and get banged out of their fucking head the 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 son taped the encounter the father's son taped the encounter on his phone sent it to police yada 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 again why are you getting naked dude wait so that's my question is so i'm following along this whole story and then so you're telling me that it went yo can he, i so can he went, yo can so i borrow went, your yo, phone can, he went yo can i borrow your phone the guy said nah my phone's at five percent i got nah and he said, yo, if you don't give me that phone, I will fuck, I will your entire, fuck. I will fuck you and your entire family up. He said, I will fuck you and, and your entire he, family and up. And then he dropped his pants, exposing his genitals. Is that sick enough for you, Dean, since your standards are so high? And what the so fuck, high? man? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying are to go through Since the... your standards are so high now, is that does that meet your standards of a sick fuck? I guess, yeah. Jesus sick fu Christ. I, I just like, why couldn't you just beat up the whole family like a regular person yeah, does? I when mean, you why say you you're going to beat up the family... Naked. I, the he goes, he goes, I'm going to take on your whole fucking family. Drop pants and just stand there. Why? What are you going to do? You're going to fucking fuck the family? Um, finally, a guy who we've been tracking all year is one of the great sick fucks of 2019. He's back. Every day he's in the news. Juicy Jesse Som Lay. He apparently had a meeting with the showrunner of Empire the other day. 
Um, and, uh, you know, they, 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 the show ended this season. The numbers uh, were lower than they thought. Juicy Jesse was uh, featured in the season-ending episode. I guess he had a gay wedding on the show. Um, how are you feeling about Juicy Jesse? I'll tell Jesse? you right fucking now. Why are, first of all, do you Ju miss Juicy, Juicy Jesse? It's first, it's Jesse. You it's always Jesse. Say, no, it's Jesse. It is Jesse. You well, know that, right? I, I'm going to call him what okay, I'm going to call him. Okay, fine, call him. I, I I'm gonna call and him what we're I gonna call get, him. And while we're gonna get into it, I just want to say his his brother had talked about something, right? And, and let me just his brother said he was having night terrors. Okay, his brother said he's, he's having night terrors. Yeah, you got Jussie and his brother Jojo. What's up with this family and their weird fucking J names? There might not even be that. Might not even be their names. You no, can't their name trust is anything Jussie from and these Jojo. people. Jussie and Jojo. Okay, okay. Here's, here's my thing: is why are we why are we still saying is he getting cut off? Is he being fired? Is he not being fired? Fire this fucking guy. Yeah, he took America. For a fucking loop. Yeah. He really took us through that fucking roller coaster. He's still doing it. And then the city of Chicago wants to sue this fucking prick. That's why you're having night got... that's how you're having night terrors, dude, because Chicago's piece... gonna take all your money. And this piece of shit should be like, you know what? Understandable. Even if you did do it, even if even if it did happen, he should be like, you know what? I got everyone involved in this shit. It did happen, but I got everyone involved in this shit. I'll just pay you the 130 grand. Right, like just to like to move move. Yeah, move Jussie, forward. just shut the fuck up, Jussie. And Jussie, I just want to also make this out yeah, there. Yeah. If I see you out in LA, what are you gonna do? You're gonna attack him, Dean. No, You're gonna I didn't kick say I'm gonna attack him. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna give him a look, and I'm I'm gonna shake my head and be like, mm -mm, we don't we don't like you out over here. That's the look. That's what the look's gonna say. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Listen, we're done. It's the I am Rapport Stereo podcast. We made it through the entire episode without me throwing you the fuck out of here it got there a couple times almost it got it got it got, it got close but we we, we made it I calmed through. you down you did calm me down uh you guys know where to find us you know where to find the young shooter at dean collins my name is the gringo man dingo aka uh white mike aka the white chocolatito aka mr aka miles jordan do me a favor uh take me out here with something real nice maybe some pacific i, I mean Okay, fine. I mean, just take, take us out of here with something real nice, something real proper. Like a nice and Most host. importantly, real funky. But take us out of here with some Pacific, the band. We're done. <laughs> <laughs>